Hey, what's going on, y'all? So we back with a, another little update. Um, been cranking, working, and just trying to stay afloat. Uh, so I want to show y'all this motor job that I'm doing um, on this 09 Outlook. Um, and I want to show y'all the transmission is still in there and the Wee, but okay. trans transfer case. Yeah, my wife helped <laughs> me on that one. So. Uh, Basically, what I've done is uh, stripped the motor down and got it ready to be headed to the scrap. Uh, but I wanted to show y'all that literally um, you don't have to drop the, you know, from the bottom. You can pull it from the top. The intake manifold has to come off. Um, other than that, I don't. I didn't have my uh, um, fuel injector puller, line puller, so that's how I did it, just like that. And then, uh, basically, uh, it all uh, unbolt out. Like, um, it's pretty much as simple getting to all the bolts. You see how I got the exhaust still there. Um, just just laying there um, crowbar pop the shaft right out uh, driver side you don't even got to touch it you don't even got to touch the driver side um, I just put the wheel back on there for, for y'all to see that you don't got to touch it but nothing is off on the driver side I don't have not a thing off um, the, the axle is still in there all right, sweetie, I'll see you in a minute. The axle, I wish I had the flash on, but the axle is still in there. Um, so pretty much you just have to take the front end, the front end apart, and then um, take the motor mounts. You got some motor mounts. This is one of them, and then that is one of them. Um, and then that's it. I mean, the harness for the engine is plug and play, so unplug it and if you got your new engine um it, it be a, it should be all simple for you um so everything is pretty much simple and this is it is you can do this with leaving a transmission in there you don't even have to take the transmission out um it, it's simple um a caveman can do it <laughs> literally uh now you see how i have the transfer case bolts in there right so what you're going to do is when it comes time for the motor to, to be set back in you're going to take them bolts out and lower the transfer case and then the engine will go in where it needs to go you'll be able to pop it in um, to the the flywheel into the torque converter and then you just hang that back up and run your bolts in um, so yeah I did a Grand Prix like this um, Impala like this um, a few this is my first doing a crossover car like this so other than that I watched some videos on here and I talked to a guy who actually did one he he didn't know if this was going to be able to work so I wanted to make this video just to show him that or whoever that needs it just to show that it's, it is a you, you are able to do it um, from just keeping the trans and the transfer case in there you don't even have to touch not a bolt at the back for the transfer case or anything like that you don't have to touch nothing um sorry i couldn't um take v videos of the process um so there's some stuff going on with my camera um where, where i just need a new camera this is my wife's so yeah uh, if you guys have any more questions this is all i did to the passenger side you see it's just land and the calibers just hanging up there so that's brake pads are still in there just pop the shaft shaft laying there there's my socket to the shaft so guys this is it's simple it's simple and I have to do this transmission job I have I finally got my parts for this car so I'm gonna Go ahead and get this 
going and then I'm supposed to be if you've been tuning in with my channel um I'm supposed to be uh getting a G6 here soon for this car for the sunroof um so yeah this car is laying on the ground and that's how you know my life is just too busy man um so yeah and on that i got the parts for that just no install yet so I've just been working 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 trying to stay afloat so you guys um yeah i'm just trying to get this up out of here this mess and then it still needs a transmission so i don't know why the lady is um not doing an engine and transmission but whatever uh i want to see how this goes um yeah so if you guys have any questions feel free to drop a comment hit that like um and so this is the new motor and all i did was change the coil packs they sold her the one wrong coil pack so i have to she has to get another one of those um i did a little change on it um just simple things uh change the spark plugs um just simple things you know that didn't need that much um so yeah just stay tuned if you guys want to see more of this if it all works out i'll make another video uh so and like when you're looking at it you might think that you might not have so much room but you actually do have room you got room so you're able to put a crowbar in here and slide that out and the engine still um, once you slide it out from the uh, torque converter there's still room to be able to play and you know get the motor you know up and out so it's all able to work so i'm finna head out here soon um i got some errands to run um but one thing that did make this all go good is the impact gun so make sure you guys get that uh, if you're gonna be working because it's tedious but it's not um, the only the, the only tedious things is the motor mounts um, because they're long and they're they're in a tight spot. So the only tedious thing literally is the motor mounts for this car. Um, other than that, it's it's all simple. It's, it's all straight and forward. Um, so again, the transmission. If you want to count your bolts, you can go ahead and do that in the video. Um, that's one there. Uh, that's one there that's a trans bolt there there so other than that you can count your transfer case bolts two at the bottom three at the top so uh, and this bolt is tricky this bolt is tricky because I had everything unbolted and I was still like okay this transmission is still bolted to the engine so uh, it, it's one of these bolts big bolt I forgot what size it may be 18 um, but yeah that's the engine and trans bolt so um, you would have to get it from the passenger side and you would have to have a long extension to get to it it'll break free um, if you got a socket wrench or anything like that um, and uh, impact just you know um get that so arbor free has a deal on them impact guns right now they're about like 70 bucks so if you don't have one go get one um other than that again you guys if you have any more questions you see i still have the hood on too so it was that simple and the hoist didn't even hit the hood or nothing like that so um yeah I just wanted to do less things as possible because already taking this front end in off is, is a lot of work. So, uh, yeah, I'm just really over this car and want it out of here because it's just too much. I'm telling you, it's not it's not a big job, but it's just it's man, you know. So, um, I'm not a crossover guy, and this is 
definitely um, it's not a headache but for what i'm charging i could be charging more um you know so you live and you learn but at the end of the day uh we're one step closer to getting this engine in here and kind of just tore the engine all apart and got it ready because i didn't want that engine to be all in the yard and you know just looking like a mess so tore it down and got it ready for the scrap um so i'll do something on this i have a bunch of videos um in my phone and in my camera just stuff that i need to upload um so i'll get around to that but this is also a uh a car that I should put on the channel that that needs fixing that I'll do so hey man hey hey man hey fat man a daddy dada okay so yeah guys um thanks for tuning in thanks for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up do whatever you want to do and see you soon